This is ninth in a series of video tutorials on World Editor from Laminar Research. Adding Objects Objects in X-Plane in the form of OBJ files can be placed at any location. These objects are most commonly buildings, but they also could be houses, airplanes, or even people. X-Plane doesn't know the difference. X-Plane has numerous built-in objects already that are available for your use in the library browser in World Editor. At this point, we are ready to add any of the objects from our library browser into our scenery package. To do this, simply find and select the object in the library browser. This will automatically select the object tool for you in the toolbar. Now you can click in the map pane where the object should go. You can click and drag to place the object with a particular orientation or direction. With every object, you can choose a density for that object, which sets the rendering options for X-Plane. This affects how your object will be seen in X-Plane. This option is available in the Show With field in the Selection pane. You can choose to always have X-Plane draw the object by selecting Default, or have X-Plane only draw the object at the highest level of object density by selecting too many, or somewhere in between. Objects that are critical to your scenery pack, like a control tower at an airport, should be set to Show With Default so that users always see these objects. Objects that are included for decorative purposes, like static aircraft, should be set to show with megatons or show too many or insane so that users will only see them when they turn up their rendering settings to high. Try to distribute the show with choices in your scenery pack to show more detail for users with higher rendering settings, while showing only the must-have objects when the settings are on default. This way, users with fast machines will see more detail, but users with slow machines will see those objects that are still critical in order to enjoy the simulation.